Today, I'm turning boys into men for the 1,376th time. Let's go. Can't stop looking at that second button that's undone. I understand like the first one, but the second one is too much. I can't believe it. I genuinely can't believe it. I have never been introduced to the world of alpha male YouTube, whatever the hell we're calling it. And somebody dropped it in my Instagram the other day, cheap plug at SimonMiller316. And I found teaching men's fashion. And look, as I always want to say when we're talking about other people, this dude has absolutely smashed it. He's got 5.24 million subscribers. So even if I, Simon Miller, bought a whole sit here and I'm kind of stunned by a lot of things that are coming out of his mouth, he clearly has an audience and he clearly has something that people want to hear. With that said, I couldn't believe it. And the video that was sent to me was seven things masculine men never do. This opens up many questions. The first one being what exactly is a masculine man? But I'm going to assume that I can watch this video and by the end of it, I will be able to determine what masculinity is. And if I ever look it up in a dictionary, there will be the description and forevermore I can be a masculine man. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is episode 1376 of your daddy should have taught you this, but now your boy Jose is gonna fill in that gap and teach it for you. What if you don't have a dad? I don't mean that in like a bad way. Some people's dads pass away. Some people's dads just run off. So why am I being criticized as soon as I've started this video of this guy yelling at me? So your dad should have taught you this. Should have taught me what? He wasn't there. Today I'm gonna show you seven things that masculine, strong, impenetrable men. Right, so I get the flex. Because that's like a stereotype when it comes to masculinity. <laughs> Why does he tap his heart? Is the heart something to do with masculinity? Because I'm pretty sure at some point in this video, he's going to tell me, Oh, don't worry about emotion. emotion is the worst thing ever. But emotion is your heart and it's your brain. And when they come together, you watch a sad movie, you cry. Today, I'm turning boys into men for the 1,376th time. Let's go. Can't stop looking at that second button that's undone. I understand like the first one, the second one is too much. Masculine men do not masturbate five times a day. Who masturbates five times a day? Five times a day? Your penis would be red raw. You gotta understand that every time you ejaculate, it kills your motivation and your drive throughout the day. Yeah, but what if your motivation for the day was to ejaculate? Every time you go at it, you release powerful masculine energy. I thought it was sperm, but as it turns out, it's powerful masculine energy. Keep your gun loaded and you'll feel more powerful. Where'd the gun come from? Who, why, why has he got a gun? You need to calm down. Number two. Oh my God. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. Oh my God, no, no, no. Bro, relax. An alpha male, a masculine man, never loses his composure. Oh, oh that's interesting, what does it say? It says, it's okay to lose control of your emotions sometimes. Anxiety is a normal part of life. If you never got anxious or a little bit apprehensive, you would be an absolute liar and probably a little bit of a freak. Emotional control is a key aspect of being a masculine male. Isn't controlling your emotions, or at least practicing controlling your emotions, just a smart thing to do as a human being. Why does that come down <laughs> to masculinity? So if you're a woman, you should just be out of control all the time. But if you're a man that wants to enter the world of masculinity, you have to control your emotions. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to be an absolute mess, be an absolute mess. I mean, again, you should work on that because it's going to benefit you. But nobody's allowed to walk in here and tell you what you should do with your emotions. Maybe the text message said, oh, hi, Dear, let's say it's your mum, I've just chopped my leg off and I'm going to use it to beat your non-existent dad into the floor. If I get that message, I'm going to be a little bit worried. Masculine men don't flee from danger. Real men, they think, they protect. Real masculine men don't flee from danger. So if somebody gets a gun and puts it in your face and you have the opportunity to get out of there, you have a choice. Do you want to stay alive and live to fight another day? Or do you want to get shot in the face but then hope, even though you're never going to know, that the newspapers, when they report on it, say, but he was really masculine. I'll give you a great example. For me, protecting my family and my possessions that I've worked years and put my blood and sweat into is what's important. This is why with our sponsor... <laughs> he tied it into his sponsor. Fair play to that guy. He knows how to work and he knows how to sell. Once again, though, this is just good advice for being a human. You should be smart when it comes to life. That's what he's telling you. You should be smart when it comes to life. And if you're being dumb when it comes to life, well, you're pretty dumb. It's not that you're going to go out and 
go into a gunfight or a knife fight or fight anybody. You want to avoid that type of danger. You ruined my joke. That's not very nice. Every man has fear. We all have fear. But masculine men are crippled by it. It's a good point. It's a good point. There's a great book out there called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. I don't want to sound like a broken record, though. That's not a masculine trait. What are we talking about? A masculine trait? That's just, again, once more. Do you want to retrieve your genes? Do you want to kind of get out of your comfort zone? Do you want to try and elevate yourself to a different plane, a different level? Well, you're probably going to need to feel the fear and do it anyway. I don't understand this whole masculinity thing. What even is masculinity? I don't understand. Masculine men... They don't avoid eye contact. Instead, they pierce your soul. Literally, they look you right in the eyes. The jump he made there. Masculine men don't avoid eye contact. They pierce your soul. Number six. Masculine men do not say yes all the time. The only thing you should say yes to is this channel and subscribing to it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was as soon as he said number six, you know, don't be a yes man. I knew at one point he was going to go, but you should yes your way into my channel. That's not even a good segue. If I say at the start of the video, please yes my channel, you go, I don't know what you're talking about. Finally, number seven, masculine men are never in a rush. Bullshit. <laughs> masculine men are never in a rush. Let me paint a scenario for you. You all got a meeting. You go to your car. You get into traffic. There's a crash on the motorway. You're now delayed and you need to rush, but you decide, well, no, rather than get to that meeting as fast as I possibly can. I'm just going to chill out and I'm going to get there in my own good time, even though this could be a life changing event. Sometimes you need to rush. And look, if you can control that kind of feeling of, oh, no, I'm late, even better, man, because it's only going to help your own mental health. But that has nothing to do with masculinity. And that's why I don't understand all this alpha men stuff. It just doesn't compute. It doesn't add up. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. Keeping that composure, keeping that control, it makes you seem more trustworthy. It makes you seem more honest. It makes you seem more trustworthy and it makes you seem more honest. The inflection there being you can be the most dishonest con man ever, but as long as you trick that person, why hasn't the message been be an honest person, be a trustworthy person, get other people's respect and then that will make you a better human being and hopefully makes the other person a better human being because they can then put their faith into the human race. And people want to talk to you because it seems like, again, you're that man with the plan. That was incredible. I am now obsessed with alpha man power explosion YouTube. I know this kind of stuff existed. I think I've seen other videos that have talked about channels like this on channels that I watch, but I never really watched those videos. I never really followed it through. But that's amazing. Seven things masculine men never do. It sounds like some kind of weird poem that you'd recite. I don't even know, man. If you want to be masculine, I think that's awesome. If you don't want to be masculine, I think that's awesome. I mean, I don't consider myself like a masculine aggressive guy, but by some of my character traits, you know, bald head, go to the gym door. That's how some people will portray me, but I'm not. I'm a scared little baby that gets scared by his own shadow. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but so what? That's who I'm man. And you how you are. That doesn't mean we can't work on ourselves and try to become better. But that was all nuts. I mean, it started with don't masturbate and it ended with con people. <laughs> it's quite the ride we have been on. I just want to make it very clear. Yes, teaching men's fashion, he's doing better than me. This is what comments always do. Well, he's doing better than you. I know he's doing better than you. But again, someone sent me the video and I was so perplexed by it. I just wanted to sit down here and air my opinions on it. To the point, if he ever saw it, he'd look at my channel and go, <laughs> I don't care about that son of a bitch. And he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He's already smashed it, probably because he's a masculine man. Now, please do subscribe to the channel. That would rock. Also, leave a comment and let me know about this stuff. Maybe it's helping you and I want to make that clear too if it is good for you like the video and share the video hit the bell ding ding so you know when other videos are going live there's another video on screen right there please do give it a click that's what YouTube loves the most when it comes to the algorithm the power 13 cookbook is out now it's in the description below and you can use the code simon15 for 15% off on Instagram and Twitter at simon316 patreon.com forward slash simon316 if you do want to help support the channel doesn't do like crazy views so that's how I try and support it simonmiller.bigcartel.com for merchandise but make sure today no matter what else you are are planning to do do not masturbate because that will be the end of your entire life